Ron Fredericks with Biophysics Lab. Today I'm going to use the LT Spice modeling tool to show the microcurrent gold circuit board designed by David Jones and discussed and sold at EEV Blog. As an example, here is the product page for the circuit. It's currently out of stock, but if you keep Coming back, you'll find that once in a while, they've got uh, new boards for sale. The current adapter is pretty simple to use. You just put the current in on one end and get a millivolt scaled output for nanoamps, microamps, and milliamps. This is the schematic for the milliamp version with the switch in the milliamp setting. Now I'll quickly go through the schematic here. The 3 volt button battery goes through a on off switch. The voltage is then monitored by this TPS3809 chip for the LED being on until we hit a 2.7 volt low voltage threshold and the LED will go off. The uh, 321 op amp is being used as a voltage divider to create a virtual ground plus or minus 1.4 volts as I'm seeing from the simulation. The MAX 4239s are both being used as times 10 amplifiers we can see in the circuit here where the voltage that we measure out and the current that we measure in is going through a virtual ground reference not to be confused with the regular ground. Current is being simulated with this uh, pulse that's going up between 0 and 2 amps. Let's go ahead and start the simulation. The simulation takes about a minute on my computer it has uh, 12 cores and an i7 running nominally at 3.3 gigahertz and LT Spice is using all the cores when the simulation is done this will drastically drop back down to this lower level here we will go ahead and take the current input as it runs from 0 amps to 2 amps and we'll measure the voltage output across our two terminals. Now that blue is kind of hard to read so I'm going to switch that to gold and going to make it a little larger so it's easier to see. Now the uh, voltage goes from 0 down to about 1.4 and we can be uh, pretty accurate about that with our cursors and we can do a current cursor and a voltage cursor just to get the scale of the millivolts. Put the reading here so we can see that 1.4 amps is putting out 1.4 volts at this threshold. Any current beyond that will be flat as we've hit our uh, virtual ground limit. Now one thing that we can do with my circuit here since the switch is designed as a resistor lattice and I've saved a separate lattice for each switch position namely a hundred milli ohm resistance path for the specific switch position and one gig ohm for the other pins and all the poles which is consistent with the data sheet for this switch. I am going to kill this switch and I'm going to go to our component list and switch our top directory to where all the parts are for this schematic and choose the uh, central switch position and drop that into place. Right, where we go. All right, so now we can simulate microamps. Only one more change we'll make, and that is uh, we won't run a pulse to 2 amps. We'll run it to uh, 2,000 microamps instead. 
make a little room here for our display once the simulation is complete. All right, the simulation is now complete for the microamp scale, putting both the current and the voltage at the voltage knee. And we can see that 1.4 milliamps produces a 1.4 voltage output, which is consistent with our microamp readout goal. Now for the final circuit, I'm going to close this without saving since we have separate circuits already pre-built for each of the current settings. And I'm going to pull up the nanoamp circuit just so I don't have to re-change the switch setting or the pulse setting. And we'll go ahead and simulate, measure the current and our voltage resulting from that current, changing color again back to gold and we'll add a little larger display so we can see the readout a little easier and now let's put our cursors on this nano amp scale to see how our readings might look okay so again we have our one point for microamps full scale translating to 1.4 volts which is on point for our target. I'm going to pull up our schematic for a moment and just show you some of the uh, inner workings. For example this battery monitor I'm going to pull up the internal schematic that I created which started with the LTC 1440 low voltage monitor chip configured for 2.7 volts and then adding a TPS 3809 symbol gives us the schematic we were looking for whereas the uh, spice models for the 321 and the 4239 were both available by the uh, chip manufacturer. 